Welcome to Firearms of America. Today I have another trail running shoes review for you guys. And this is Sakoni or Sausoni. I don't even know. Switchback. And currently they are $100, to be specific, $99.95 on Amazon. The link is in the description below. And as you guys can see, they feature my favorite BOA lacing system. So, let's get into the review as some of you already know this review is specifically for my ultimate survival boots section these however are not boots these are trail running shoes but would they be a good option for your survival if something bad happened you were wearing these shoes or they were laying around in your house and something bad happened catastrophe pandemic riots i don't know what different things can happen right and you had an option to put them on and you had to leave the house walk for extended periods of time run fight climb do everything that's necessary to survive would these be good shoes to survive in so let's get into the review how do we make the judgment we make the judgment based on eight different criteria criteria number one of course is the comfort level and in order to test the comfort level I do a three mile run and then a five mile walk without stopping. And as you would think, trail running shoes are some of the most comfortable things. In fact, these are more comfortable than my regular running sneakers. Yes, and there are a few factors that contribute to that comfort. First of all, of course, the weight. And let's see exactly how heavy or light these shoes are and this is size 10 9.5 unbelievable that is absolutely amazing here's the thing every time I do a review every time I take the weight of the boot or shoe whatever I do I always say if you want something to um, something lightweight that is easy to run in try to find something that is under 20 ounce per foot and that would be acceptable for a run. And as you can see, this is more than double of that. And of course, not double, dub, double less, if that makes sense, okay? You get the point. Of course, very, very easy to run in these shoes. Three miles running felt like nothing. Well, it was hard because it was 100 degrees weather outside, but, but, no discomfort here and there are a few other factors that contribute to that comfort level of course we have the inner sole and i am a big fan of this inner sole as you can see it has a very nice heel bed it has a very decent amount of padding so it takes on the impact however this is not just that that protects you from the impact but also there is another layer of very soft very jelly surface on the inside underneath the inner sole. Now, of course, because the toe box is practically, it's not practically, it is transparent, <laughs> is very soft, of course, you don't have any kind of discomfort in the toe box whenever you're running. And because the outsole is practically non-existent, it's so soft, it's practically non-existent, you don't you you can run properly without putting any stress on your ankles on your knees so whenever it comes to the comfort level these are extremely extremely comfortable a very easy 10 out of 10 on the comfort level now let's move on to the criteria number two which is proof again protection and this is of course where these uh don't shine that much of course there isn't really any kind of proofing these are not waterproof uh there isn't really any kind of protection either the toe is extremely soft. Well, nothing to protect your ankles. The heel is its not even reinforced like most of the times in most of the shoes. It's very soft. So, I mean, be careful with the, any kind of impact here. And if you, you probably already noticed, there isn't much of protection on the outsole side of the shoe either. Because, because as you can see, well, I don't know how to say it any differently. The outsole has holes in it. Yes, these are the holes that go straight into this very soft, airy layer of rubber that is the second layer of the outsole. So, if you step on anything remotely sharp, it will go straight through. Yeah. 
So whenever it comes to the proofing and protection, of course, if you are concerned with the protection, proofing, it might not be such a great option. All right, let's move on to the criteria number three, quality and the design features. Now, I don't have any experience with Saconi or Sassoni, whatever the, however you say that name. Uh, but, but so far they do have over 60 reviews on Amazon. People seem to like it. And I mean, I see why the comfort level is just unbelievable. Plus the BOA system, I absolutely, absolutely love it. And let's talk about the design features, right? Of course, here, usually I talk about the lacing system. BOA, you already noticed it. If you're not familiar with BOA, basically it allows you for super quick putting the shoes on and taking them off. All you need to do is press this BOA wheel, start spinning, and that's it. It's tightened and to release it, you pull it out and that's it. You are ready to get out of the shoe. Very, very good. I absolutely love it. And considering that these shoes are only $100 currently on Amazon, I think it is a fantastic, fantastic price. Uh, considering that they do have the BOA lacing system because usually anything with BOA lacing system is very, very expensive. All right, let's talk about the criteria number four, outsole traction and stability. Now, in order to test the outsole, I test my shoes whenever I do the run and the walk on a variety of different surfaces, starting from older asphalt, newer tarmac, wet grass, dry grass, wet sand, dry sand, rocky road, and then some slippery surfaces. Uh, like marble and tile and of course some trail surfaces. These perform very well. I do like this outsole, uh, not for its protection qualities, they absolutely completely lax whenever it comes to protection qualities. However, I do like the balance between aggression and flatness. In fact, I think it would have been even better traction wise if there were no holes because whenever you're running through the sand, the sand does get stuck a little bit in these holes. If these holes were not present here, it would have been way, way better. So Saconi, for your next, if you're watching this review, for your next pair, consider just not doing the holes, all right? But other than that, the outsole, the design of the outsole, the balance between tra uh, flatness and aggression is definitely excellent and it does help that it has these grooves going on the side as well. Right, let's quickly mention the criteria number five, temperature, obviously not even worth mentioning anything cold. I tested these shoes in the 100 degree weather here in Florida, and they are definitely very breathable, very light. You barely feel like you're wearing anything. So definitely great uh, whenever it comes to hot temperatures. Criteria number six, really quickly, sizing. Now these, uh, shoes they do run true to the size so no problems with that at all i always recommend getting um, half a size bigger just to have that extra little bit of space here you don't have to worry that much about it because the toe box is so soft but something for you to keep in mind now criteria number seven balance of application would this be a good shoe to survive in after all i think it is an option definitely an option uh you know if you prefer lightness and you don't mind sacrificing the protection, this is a great option, you know? You know, it's, you, you have all of these cool features like the BOA system, you have a very good traction and stability. If you don't mind some holes on the outsole, if you don't mind very, very soft toe box and very soft heel, you're gonna really like these shoes. And if you're looking at the shoes for trail running purposes, you know, if you are familiar with your trail and you know that there is nothing sharp on the trail laying around, great option. Now, very quickly, criteria number eight, the price, like I said, these shoes currently are $99.95 on Amazon. The link is in the description below. Considering that they do have the BOA system, I think personally, it's an excellent price. Again, like I said, if you know, if you're familiar with the trail that you're running on and these holes don't bother you at all on the outsole, absolutely excellent option. So let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think about these trail running shoes, what you think about this review. If you have any requests, drop them in the comments below and I will be happy to address them. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. This was Firearms of America and I'll see you guys 
in the next video.